Hello, Ola, and welcome everyone again watching. Um, I believe probably all three people or just my mom might be watching this. But hey, who cares anyways? I am working right now on another video for one of my clients. And really quickly, I wanted to make this tutorial on how to get rid of that horrible black screen on the background. If you've ever filmed anybody against a black screen, this video is going to show you how to get rid of that terrible black screen. Um, sorry for the uh, little pauses in between. I got a little burping coming up here. Um, so anyways, let me uh, show you guys really quick what the original shot looked like. Let's go to this clip right here. Do, 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 do. And let's remove that. There you go. So we filmed this scene. And of course, I showed up um, to film. I had no idea that uh, originally we needed to remove the black background from the final, you know, um, edit. I knew that I was going to do something kind of nicer with it, um, but I wasn't sure what. So, um, so yeah, so we shot it just like this. I didn't really light the background well um, on this when I shot it. Um, it was extremely quickly. Um, I was actually running late because I um, went to the wrong building. Um, <laughs> so I had to turn around and uh, make my way back down campus and uh, go to the actually right building and find all the you know the the people waiting for me and I uh, began to set up my camera to shoot just shot with one camera um, I had just I set up one light just literally because I didn't even have enough time to set up more and we were in the middle of a hallway uh, believe it or not with um, with just this black background so and of course you can also tell it, it wasn't like irons or anything so you can see all the wrinkle spots here but uh, anyway, so these are the original shots, just the players kind of pumping up the audience, asking them, you know, stand up, cheer, you know, all that kind of good stuff um, to play during the uh, basketball games. So um, here we go. What I decided to do for this, um, and again, the reason why I made this video is because I looked on the Internet. I remember when uh, I was taking film classes that we were removing the uh, black backgrounds uh, from a lot of like fire B-roll, uh, explosion B-roll footage. Um, back in the day when we were trying to uh, make those cheesy looking videos with explosions in the background um, a lot of that b-roll would come filmed with a black background which I, I believe is, uh, most of it still is um, especially for like fire and explosions actually um, so um, but anyway so I was uh, so I remember how to do that um, but I obviously wanted to look it up on YouTube and see if there was a video kind of just reminding me because it was a while since I've done anything like that and uh, to my astonishment, I only found one video explaining this process. Um, some like 12-year-old or 15-year-old kid. So props to that kid uh, for rocking it out and creating uh, a video showing this. Um, again, like I said, most people don't even uh, have a video up there of how to do this. So let me show you really quick. And it's not anything special. It's not a special of, you know, crazy effect or something that you're using on the daily. So... Obviously, it's not a video that's going to get a lot of clicks because people don't really care about uh, how to get rid of black backdrops because usually they're not filming against black backdrops. So, But really quickly, we got this clip right here in its original form. You are going to go to the Effects tab. So open up your Effects tab. You can go under All or you can go under Key or whatever. I don't know where it's at, but you can go ahead and type Key down here or Key. And make sure to use the keyer, not the Luma keyer, but just the regular keyer. You're going to go ahead and drag that down and drop it right over there. I'm not going to drop it because I already got it on there. But, uh, well, actually, yeah, let's drop it so we can show you from scratch. So we're going to drop that right there. And what's going to happen is absolutely nothing uh, until we come up here. And we're going to do sample color. Click on that. And it will allow you to... Oh. my bad I was clicking on the old one over here so let me just delete that alright there we go so this is the cure that we just dropped so make sure you click on sample color and you don't have to drag that or anything just click on it and it will give you this little cross over here that you can highlight whatever area you want you know the black background whatever you want kind of to disappear and to select and uh, let me get rid of that background clip so I can show you what that looks like after you do that. So here's the regular clip. Here's adding the keyer onto there, just making the whole 
backdrop kind of transparent, more dark. And uh, then after that, you can actually select whatever kind of background you want. Uh, I went with this background, which is just a background um, that is in uh, Final Cut X. Um, let me see if this is going to play very loudly. Let me turn the volume down. There we go. And it's dragging a little bit. I don't know why, because it's rendering. But see the next clip. Well, I did a little motion thingy over there, but so that's what they all look like. It's not very, you know. Um, you could obviously tell some of it's bleeding right over his face over here, you know, and crossing his path. Um, but you can use a solid background. You can use any kind of background that you want. Um, just gotta make sure you hide those little imperfections. And that is all. That was a very simple. I had to do um, a total of here. Let's go to the to the other project. I had to do a total of six videos. Um, so I did them all in one timeline, just because they were all extremely similar videos. Um, so then after I'm done doing them all in one timeline, I kind of drag this, da 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 da, copy it, you know, and then place it into another project, paste it, and then render it from there. So. Um, a little more time consuming like that but uh, I decided since they were also similar using the same kind of uh, you know this uh, animation in the background of all of them um, I decided to go ahead and uh, and just do it all in one project so ladies and gents gracias por mirar este episodio uh, thanks for checking out this little episode if you guys have any questions you can go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below um, I do not know why I'm talking like this but it seems a lot of fun um, so anyways thank you so much for watching uh, this has been fun at film with ECEs where you can find all my social media stuff um, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe or do whatever you want. Leave a nice comment or leave a horrible mean comment. That is completely up to you. Um, other than that, uh, I am going to start uploading more of these little videos in the future most likely. And again, keep in mind that this is not a channel for editing advice or um, editing tutorials. But this is when I find a little bit of free time um, or I happen to catch up on my work for my clients when I find a little bit of free time and I can show you guys just a little trick here or there that I use for one of my videos. Um, I'm more than happy to uh, do a screen capture and uh, kind of upload that online. So that was how to get rid of a black background in Final Cut X. Thank you so much for watching. Your time is extremely important, so I appreciate it. And have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Ciao.